Hello again. Welcome to another episode of Test Chamber. I'm your temporary host, Jeff Cork, joined today by Joe Juba. Ah, uh, yes. And Correct. Dan Reichert. Hi, Jeff. Hi. As you saw from the title screen, we're playing Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. Yep. A silly title. It's so silly. So here's, here's the easy to understand setup. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Desperado uh, Enforcement. Yeah. Uh, you can you can pause and read this if you want to. We're just going to keep going. <laughs> that will be converted um, into a fifteen minute long cutscene, right? <laughs> now, Dan Dan had wondered too because this says that it takes place four years after Guns of the Patriots. When yeah, it was initially it was initially revealed to take place between Metal Gear Solid two and four to sort of explain what Raiden was doing in the interim and why he became a crazy robot guy. Right, but when they sort of announced that Platinum Games had <laughs> Wow, that is a... <laughs> they're, they're really spending some time on his ass. So good. Oh. Um, <laughs> when, pla- when they announced that... You know, they sort of relaunched the game when Platinum Games took over and stuff. They announced that they'd changed the time frame. Okay. I um, guess I like that. I mean, I like the idea of moving the story forward. I mean, is this canon? I think so, yeah. Okay. And this demo is available in Zone of the Enders HD collection. Yeah, we are playing the demo that came with Zone of the Enders HD. It's a nice you're little playing throwback. It. You're playing it, Joe. I'm, yeah, I am playing you the You have demo. the controller. We are looking at it. Ooh, Herr Doctor. It's a nice little throwback to the Metal Gear Solid 2 demo in the original Zone of the Enders. Exactly. Which is the reason yeah. a lot of people bought Zone of the Enders, including me. Mm-hmm. Absorbing from their electrolytes. I got it. Yes. So do you think Platinum is just making this up as they go along? Like, do you think this project is just a disaster? Is that what's happening here? Look at his face. That's a disaster. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> a Hogan hair. Whatever. That's going to be you in like 20 years, Dan. Excuse me. 10 if I'm lucky. Um, no, I mean, I, this, I don't know. The story, the story is going to be interesting for, I think, for fans of the Metal Gear series, right. like they're they're going to be interested to see like where it goes. At the same time, though, I think when you when you've got Platinum Games at the helm, sort of doing an action focused thing, like I didn't care that Bayonetta's story wasn't great, right? Yeah, you know, like give me some cool characters, some cool action from a from a game in this sort of style, mm-hmm. you know, sort of divorced from the Metal Gear legacy. That's that's not the main metric by which I I would judge this. But it seems idea. something as as simple as determining what time frame like where this takes place <laughs> in the story like yeah just kind of switching from one to another that just sends up a like a flag to me yeah i mean you're not wrong yeah <laughs> okay i mean i mean the, the development of this game was clearly troubled at some point i mean like like it was it was practically canceled within kojima productions and then they right. went and sort of like revived it with with platinum so you know things were not things were not clear and rosy from the from the get-go on this so you think we'll see a coke swilling monkey in a diaper oh i hope so jeez or is he retired a spin-off of him would be the best thing yeah like ape escape except with the diaper monkey <laughs> any more monkey ball yeah oh okay what's the over under on a snake cameo in this game Ah, uh, that's a good question or just even like Campbell and you know, anybody. Yeah, I wouldn't be su- I wouldn't be surprised about Campbell. I my guess is that if Snake were to appear in this game at all, it would be in that like post credits phone conversation or something. Yeah, you know? yeah. And maybe not even directly. Maybe it's with Otacon and it's like, I don't know. What do you think, Snake? Yeah. Dun, dun, dun. Uh. <laughs> it'll, no, it'll be the exclamation point sound effect. Yeah. Ring? Yeah. What if you do play a snake in this? That'd be hilarious. Oh, man. <laughs> That'd be such a good joke. He <laughs> plays Raiden for the first, like, hour. Or the snake. And then they trade out for snake. <laughs> God, that would be so damn funny. <laughs> All right. That's how I get to work. He's really doing it. <laughs> All right. That's pretty cool. Raiden does not do things in a small way. No. <laughs> I really love the approach to just the Raiden character. It's like, okay, well, everyone hates that he's a pussy in the first one, or first game he's in. Now, just super crazy cyborg ninja. He's still wearing high heels, heels, though, yeah. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Huh. This game looks fun. Already. I'm on board. Now you're going to slice up a fruit stand. (laughs) It just turns into stranglehold. Oh, John man, I'm stranglehold. Destroy some watermelons. Ooh, that's, yeah, I think it runs pretty smoothly. Did you ever play stranglehold, Jeff? 
A little bit. The game is hilarious. You're just constantly sliding over just tables covered in fruit and shooting people. So many crotches. Okay. That shot. Go oh, yeah. The there's... That game. All right. I think there's an achievement for shooting a guy in the nards. Now oh, you get a codec. Did that happen? What happens when we press that? A little Sorry, different. We talk to Courtney Boris? Maverick. Oh, they're all Mavericks. Doctor. Okay. <laughs> no, no. Doctor. That's the Russian doctor. Hey, Boris. What's it's up, man? It's Raiden. I'm on the ground. Can you do zoomy crazy things? Do some stick and trigger stuff. Nothing's happening. That craft isn't equipped with stealth. Boo. Or octo camo. That is completely unreadable text next to his little thing. Mail, I think. I think it's age D C. <laughs> that does sound like the actual like the real voice actor for Raiden, right? Yeah. Okay, you're a boring Boris. <laughs> they should call you Borings. It's I like Boo. that. <laughs> Just booed yourself. <laughs> Joe on the sticks. <laughs> Alright, here we go, some action. I'm a state-of-the-art cyborg. Okay, let's go into blade mode. Cut his Whoa. head off. Whoa, cut that grenade oh, okay. in half. I blew it. So is there a limit to your blade mode? Do you have like a, a swipey meter thing? Wait, you're supposed to cut. Cut. Yeah! Oh, God! Oh. Okay. That's super cool. I took his spine. And then you crushed it? Yeah. Oh. Cut his head off. Shung. Oh, give dear me your spine. Lord, that's violent. <laughs> yeah, so let's talk about blade mode. <laughs> okay. It's kind of a weird deal. Oh, I'm going to cut that grenade. <laughs> cut it. Cut the grenade. Got okay, you. I ate the grenade. Uh, oh, that's the top of his head that's not there anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. You should try to swipe someone's like head or something off, and then as they're falling, try to swipe them again. Okay. So they're not messing around with sword play. In this game, it, it looks like it might be a focus. Mm hmm. Had your fill? All right. With this body, I could take these guys with no eyes. Mm. Intel wasn't exaggerated. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, know fast you still need to see, exactly. dummy. Yeah, it helps a lot. <laughs> that CNT muscle fiber packs the power of a jackhammer into every limb. Huh. What okay. What enterprising soldier of fortune could resist? And cyborgs are still human. Real Could be so relaxed. Yeah. <laughs> Chopping people's skulls off. He's super relaxed. Don't forget the PR angle. Nations start playing hmm. Frankenstein with their troops, and the public goes he... nuts. PMC's From the uh, Resident Evil 4 school of sexy glasses wearing uh, communications lady. Okay, that's the second time he's done that. He's like nervous about her cup <laughs> going over. Spilling, yeah. It's not the, the only computers. cup he's interested in. I her can't. boobs! <laughs> in a way, Boob cups. Thanks, Dan. <laughs> You're a real class act. <laughs> Here, I was joke. trying to keep it classy by doing a nice <laughs> subtle boob joke. <laughs> Crushing spines. <laughs> yeah. He has his head again now. They're like walking vending machines. Yeah. Unrealistic. Yeah. Actually, that is interesting because the uh, Metal Gear has always done stuff in engine. Well, actually, this is probably in engine. It's just they, they put his head back on. Some kind of engine. I mean... People terrorize and it, take innocent lives from I find myself doubting that you understand what in engine means. It means it's the actual like assets and stuff. It's not a pre rendered CG cutscene. Right. Yes, okay. I understand that. This does appear to probably be an engine, maybe? Yeah. Because every Metal Gear has always been an engine. They've never used CG. This is a conversation you think they would have on the ship. Like explaining that every limb is as strong as a jackhammer. Yeah. Because yeah, he seems extraordinarily vulnerable. There like, are enemies that can pop out of nowhere. Or maybe explain it right after he woke up from his crazy robot <laughs> surgery. <laughs> this is what happened. <laughs> Listen, you're a robot now. All right. <laughs> yeah, here's some tips about how your robot body works. Actually, we'll get to that later when you're in the middle of Don't worry of about your new robot body. Looks clear. No one in sight. I do like the, the blade is constantly lightning -y. Yeah. As I said, the enemy's HQ is in the refinery along the coastline. Dolsayev has been spotted there using mm -hmm. satellite... Metal Gear power. never lets me down by giving me a character All with an awesome Russian accent. Mistral. Yeah, the name a Boris. Yeah. It was, so I go was it, city, wasn't it Natasha in the, the, yeah. the first and one, too? Yeah, and Olga. Yeah. Hmm. Gotta love the walk and talk. <laughs> yeah, oh, especially God. when you can't go anywhere. Do not let your guard down as you walk slowly, <laughs> fingers to ear. I wonder if there's going to be any stealth component to this at all. Uh, it really does not seem like <laughs> it. Yeah, you just cut the exclamation point in half. I did an interview with some of the guys from Kojima Productions back when they were on it, 
And uh, I asked them that about stealth components. And they're like, well, yeah, there will be components as far as, uh, let's say two guards are standing on a balcony. Oh, that's cool. They're standing on a balcony <laughs> shooting at you. And you can cut the legs out from the balcony and the whole balcony will collapse. So in that way, there are stealth components. Like, no, <laughs> cutting down a balcony of guys that are shooting at you is the complete opposite of stealth. I blame the translator. <laughs> you can use augment mode to see where the enemy is <coughs> Okay, so this highlights where enemies are. I'm assuming. Okay. I'm kind of worried about the walk and talk. I hope this is not uh, that prevalent. Civilians are still in the city. Well, I mean, they are still kind of like teaching you yeah. what's going on. Yeah. Toggle yeah, I mean, that display. Presumably, this is the beginning of the game here, right? It seems pretty beginning. Yeah. Because yeah. you you, we didn't show up, but there's like an AR mission what? in the beginning, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah like there's training. like a tutorial mission. All right, so we can't just kill him? What are these numbers in the top left? I assume the percentage is your health. 29-15, is that a score? A, I want to kill these guys. I, I that really that was pretty stealthy. Now cut him again. Yeah, keep cutting up. Yes, oh, that's great. See well, how many times you can cut yeah. that guy. There you go. Oh. You know there's going to be an achievement where it's like, cut a body 16 times before it hits the ground. Keep cutting his body up. Oh yeah. my god. Yeah! All right, so I killed those guys. I like alert mode. Yeah. <laughs> Cut his uh, rocket launcher nap. Too late. It's really weird to see this and look back. This is a, a series that had a guy, I feel asleep. And now look where we are. <laughs> it's also kind of weird to play this because I'm I am also at home playing Assassin's Creed right now. And to sort of go from the Assassin's Creed style combat to I'm ripping out your spine. <laughs> <laughs> try on the next guy, try cutting his gun in half. Oh, good. Gecko! Okay, these things are awesome. Oh, God. I'm gonna get kicked. Okay, left stick plus X is parry. I don't know. I don't know what you mean. Left stick plus X, parry. It's move and hit X. Yeah, that's what I was trying to do. Do that thing to the stick. I don't know. Do I press left stick? No. I think it's probably try left stick towards him and X when he strikes. That's my guess. Maybe I should just try and cut his legs. Give me your dumb legs. Oh, great. Give me your dumb legs. Oh, oh no. You don't want that to happen. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Just keep doing that. Wily e. Coyote cartoon. Come on. Cut his dumb legs. <laughs> Not a lightsaber. It kind of is a lightsaber. <laughs> yeah, it's not a shiny. It's an electric enough. high frequency sword. Yeah, but it doesn't like rip back into the thing. Okay, I'm doing this wrong. Whatever it is. Yeah. Cut that guy's gun in half. What? Move that stick. Okay, I'm just gonna. Whoop. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's restart. So deaths confirmed. Okay, yeah. like De death is a feature. I just don't get, like, <coughs> left left stick, like, pressing it down isn't right. I don't know. It, I would assume it's it towards the guy. I mean, maybe they were telling me as as I just was talking to you guys about spines and stuff. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't really know. What are those crazy Metal X things from Saving Private Ryan? What are those called? They have a name? Like tank traps? Is that what they are? Over there? The, like Omaha Beach stuff? Yeah. Okay. Left stick plus X. Cut his gun in half. Focus on those, do those uh, dudes. That guy is shooting his partner in the back. Repeatedly. <laughs> okay, you're gonna die. Now you're gonna die also. Well, so health, how does that work? Is it gonna regenerate? Have you, any ideas? Oh dear. I have no ideas. It seems like this sword thing is gonna take some serious getting used to. Yeah. Whoa, cut him! What? Oh, cut his fingers off. Oh, there's more. Okay, left stick plus X parry. God. That's not a parry, Joe. So I think we're establishing the fact that this gecko is indestructible. Yeah. So then... I'm there sure we there's go. a weak There thing. we go. You, you parried him. 
Except sometimes I do an attack and sometimes I parry instead. Can you jump and do a midair swipey thing at his little brain box thing? You are. Let me try it. Let me try it. No. Give me it. Give me no. it. No. Give me it. No. Nope. Hmm. I'm going to figure this out. I do like the alert level meter. Yeah. It immediately is, just fills up all the way. Yeah, it's just like 100%. <laughs> Look at it. Go after his little uh, R2 thing in the top. <clears throat> so can, can you go into blade mode in midair? Hmm. Be better. I bet that's the ticket. Yeah, it's a red light. Really, really working. I bet it's doing more than your other dumb crap. The legs suck. Oh, actually, look yeah, at him. He turned all blue. Yeah, you're, to you're totally right. Yeah. Okay. Well, Dan wins. You blew him. Yay. Chop his gun in half. Okay, you're gonna have to shut up about that. <laughs> I really want to <laughs> see it. Oh. Oh. He's fine. Don't you worry about him. Oh. Okay, that's that cool. was kind of awesome. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What? Yes! Oh god, that's violent! What? This guy's like attacking you with no legs? Oh, it's like a Terminator stuff. You're done. Alright. So I'm wondering what sets Raiden apart from these other goons. It seems like they're able to turn invisible. They have all this crazy armor as well. They have robot spines. Uh, he has like super cyborg body or something. Okay. <laughs> Metal Gear! The tightest trousers. <laughs> okay. It, does, it seems like I'm out of my blade mode magic at the moment. <laughs> you got a BMI error. Oh. Okay. You're dead. All, right, right. All right. So this this demo is impossible. Is that what's going on? <laughs> I think more what's happening is maybe we weren't supposed to attract the attention of those guys right there, uh -huh. and I we just weren't paying attention. Very good, Raiden. Now keep heading for refinery. Okay. There you go. That works. So blade magic is what? Oh, that's a dashy thing. Okay. Where's my blade? Okay, so I go... Whoa, whoa, what the... Could this be a situation that you described where you have to take the supports out? Take this... Oh. Is this the stealth component? That looks like pretty big support. I'll try to cut it. So... Oh, I don't, no. I don't have magic. Okay. How do you get your magic? Uh, unclear. <laughs> you... You've been playing, you've been in the presence of this game for exactly as long as I have, Dan. <laughs> All right. Oh, I can, oh, those supports maybe. Oh, crap. He went down. Don't look at me. All right, go oh, come on, right? You're a <laughs> robot. I'm going to be stealthy. Okay, we got a guy up there. Yep. Book it. No, I'm trying to be smart. You've got a guy right there, too. This is not going to work. All right, fine. So okay. did you guys have the opportunity to check out the uh, HD collection uh, uh, this comes with, or we... Uh, no, I, I haven't yet, actually. <coughs> I do I do really like Zone of the Enders. Yeah, yeah I'm but... very curious to play it. Oh, dear! Yikes. I don't know why. Zone of the Enders is one of those series that, like, like, even though I really like it, it's not one that I feel the need to go back and replay. Yeah. I feel like it wasn't really that long ago. Yeah, I mean, it... it it was. It certainly was, you know, as far back as the, you know, God of War or whatever, too. But yeah, yeah for, for some reason, that one, you know, it, it might have to do with the fact that I played the original Zone of the Enders, like, several times when it first came out anyway. Mm -hmm. so. I'm doing real bad. Cut the gun in half, Dan. <laughs> yeah. Dan, why, why don't you try cutting the gun? <laughs> Go for the little R2 thing. <laughs> yeah. Take, take this away from me. Oh. Oh, now, now it's fine. All right. Yeah. Okay. Well... So there it is. There you have it. <laughs> It'll get a of vengeance. Yeah. <laughs> now, I'm sure that, you know, this probably doesn't reflect final product. It'll be tuned and balanced, right? Well, and also, I mean, we really had not been paying attention to yeah. any on-screen prompts or, or instructions. I mean, I'm sure it's, it's, I hope at least it's one of those games like a Devil May Cry 3 where it's like super hard, but mm -hmm. if you take the time and you really learn it, like, it's, it's awesome. Like, it's super yeah. hard, but great. I was trying to help you out here, and you just didn't take the bait. So, I'm so sorry. That's okay. Yeah. I didn't want everyone to think you stunk. I, I stink at some things. Okay. 
everything. Well, anyway, <laughs> thanks for tuning in, and uh, we'll see you with another edition of Test Chamber after Joe. Oh, oh. all right, this didn't work. Either. <laughs> all right, just picture the game over screen, and you can predict what's going to happen next. So long, everyone.